I'm Jesse Weiler with St. Patrick's Church in Lake Forest, Illinois, and I just wanted to show you a couple of new things that we're doing with the website here. Um, so without further ado, let's dive into the website. This is the St. Patrick website. I just want to show you a couple of things here. We have a, a news feed, as you can see. Um, the images will slide through, uh, going through each different news item. Um, and also, you can go and click on the item. So this one says mass time. So we want to see what the mass times are at the parish. And that will bring us up to here. And as you can see, these are our mass times at the parish. And uh, also, if you ever want to go back to the home page, which we do right now, uh, you can always click on the top banner anywhere up here in the banner, and it will take you back to the home page. The second thing I want to show you is uh, this neat little app bar that we put down at the bottom. And these are quick links. As you can see, here's the liturgy schedule. So this, uh, you can see uh, if you have to be a Eucharistic minister or an altar server. Um, there's also, again, mass times, our parish calendar, the bulletin page, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, this is the engaged church schedule. This is what's going on during Lent with the engaged church initiative. Um, and lastly, our Facebook page. And by the way, you should go to our Facebook page and like us because it will help us to interact with the community and keep in touch with you. I've been posting uh, pictures from events. This is a photo album on St. Joseph's table. This is a confirmation retreat, uh, so on and so forth. So please, uh, please like our page and, and connect with us online. Um, and now I want to show you a little bit about our interactive bulletin. We're doing some really cool things with the bulletin to make it more interactive. And I could show you on the website, but I actually think it looks a lot better um, on a tablet. So uh, first of all, we're just going to go right into the bulletin section. And the first bulletin that we have that does this is the um, bulletin on the 25th of March. Okay, so I have moved the camera so that you have a better view of what's going on here. We're going to go right into it. Uh, March 25th bulletin, that is the first bulletin that I have uh, created that works with our hyperlink system. Uh, so it's, it looks like a PDF. It's not a normal PDF. It has hyperlinks uh, embedded in certain, certain things here. So, for example, this is next week's minister schedule. If I want to look at the schedule even further ahead, all I do is click it. And here is a link to our website, which has the schedule for the next couple of weeks there. Uh, and for example, here, we have a post-it note for Robert Barron's Global Media Ministry, Word on Fire. If I want to go to that website, all I do is click on the post-it note, and it will take me to wordonfire.org. And then I can get connected with that ministry. Um, so basically, I think all of these have links in them. But if you have one, like this one is for the St. Patrick's Annual Fundraising Dinner, this one doesn't have a website directly attached to it. It has an email. So I just pulled up an email, and it will go to Dan Dressel, which is one of the contacts on the uh, bulletin ad. And uh, it even has the subject matter already typed in there, St. Patrick's Annual Fundraising Dinner. So I see that it's Dan Dressel, so I say, hi there, Dan. And of course, I don't want to send that. Sorry, Dan. Um, and the cool thing is with emails, so some of those have emails, but right here you see the staff list of emails. You can even click on one of our names. There's Jesse Weiler. So I can say, hi, Jesse. And I can go down here into the body of it. Of course, I don't want to send myself an email either. Um, and it doesn't even stop there. We can even link you to photo albums on our Facebook page. So here is a picture of the youth program that went bowling. All I do is I click on the photo, and it will take it to our Facebook page and it will bring up the entire album from that event and this is really cool because you can just flip through all of the photos here um, which is really really great really handy um, and interactive and the last thing I want to show you here is um, if you ever want to go back to the bulletin page all you have to do is click the cover um, that bulletin, by the way, uh, can be clicked through on a website, on a computer as well. You don't need a, a tablet or a phone to do it. You can even do it on our website. Um, so that about does it. If you have any questions at all, email me, call me, let me know what's going on. Let me know what you think about this. These are some new things we're doing here. We're still testing uh, what's going on here. So any feedback would be amazing. So uh, again, my name is Jesse Weiler, and thank you for watching this tutorial.